Okay, right now I'm going to look at verb tenses. This is focusing on the simple past tense. Uh, let's begin. As always, we will start with the infinitive form. If you don't remember the infinitive form, that is just to plus the verb. So, let's take a look at the simple past tense. First thing we should note, we have two groups for this verb tense also, but they are not the same as the present tense verbs if you watch that video. Let's just look at a couple verbs. We have to watch, to call, to walk, to look. Now, to start out creating the past tense, there's a couple ways. The first way, we always take away the two of the infinitive. So now I'm just left with my verb. Let's see how what happens with these. Okay, I have watch, call, walk, look. Now the next step for these verbs is to use an ed at the end. We add the ed to these words, watched, called, walked, and looked. And these verbs are what we would call regular verbs. If a verb is a regular verb, all you need to do is add that ed onto the end. And for many verbs, that's what you would do. Now there is another group of verbs. These are called irregular verbs. And they are a little bit different and a little more difficult. Let's look at our verbs again. We have to eat, to go, to put, to write. The first thing we know we do is remove that to from the infinitive. Next, after that, I remove the to from the infinitive. And I'm left with eat, go, put, read. Now for these irregular verbs, the spelling might change. For example, eat becomes ate, go becomes went. Some of the irregular verbs, nothing happens. Put will still be put. And some verbs are a little more tricky. Nothing happens to them, but the pronunciation changes. For example, read becomes read. So these are irregular verbs. Remember, there are two groups of verbs. Regular verbs, you just add ed. Irregular verbs, you might need to change the spelling, or you might need to not change anything at all, or you might just change the way you say it. But irregular verbs are not able to just add ed. If you need to find irregular verbs, there is an irregular verb list posted in Google Classroom that you can look at. Now, Understanding the past tense, remember that past tense are actions that happened before in the past. So we think about this, it's now, it's 7.30, and a past tense action would be sometime before now. It could be at 6.30, it could be yesterday, it could be last week, it could be last year. For example, I watched TV last night. She studied an hour ago, or he wrote a letter last night, or John ate fish last month. Notice all of these either use ed, or they change the spelling of the verb, and these are regular and irregular past tense verbs. 